Why, hello there, and welcome back to War Thunder. I'm Corny Swiss, and today uh, I thought I'd elaborate more on uh, what I talked about yesterday. In yesterday's video, I focused primarily on the mouse and some early impressions and things like that about it. Well, today I'm going to talk about sort of late tier Germany as a whole in War Thunder and kind of what I expect to see change. Right? I mean, I hit the guy, that's cool. And, of course, to there's no other tank that really illustrates the late war, the rank 5 Germans, than the Jagdtiger. It's the only other German tank with an 8.0 battle rating. And there's a couple things coming in 1.47 that I think are going to make uh, German teams' lives a lot easier in terms of just being able to compete with uh, the Russian team's very fast and maneuverable tanks from basically from top to bottom. Uh, the IS-4 is not slow, and the T-54 is certainly not slow. And that's... The biggest thing, I think, is that the Jagdtiger is going to have a stable mate. And what I mean by that is, when you think about it, the Jagdtiger is the one of the more heavily armored machines in the game, if not the... I don't think it has the most effective armor, because there is uh, weak spots. But, all that being said, it does have very thick armor from the front. And it's very difficult to, and it's nearly impossible to deal with hull down. Well, when the mouse comes in, there's going to be another tank that can go forward, take hits, and still packs the Jagdtiger's punch on a turret. So, basically the mouse can go forward, the Jagdtiger can stay back, right? And it can keep enemies in its front. So I think that's actually going to be an interesting dynamic, with mouses going forward and Jagdtiger supporting them with uh, Panthers and Tiger Twos as kind of supporting fire for those two machines. You know, your Yag Tigers are going to be your fire support, your Mouses are going to be your uh, your dudes running out there getting hit, and Tiger Twos and Panthers are going to be the sort of uh, meat of your uh, offense. And I think that'll be interesting. I think that'll actually do kind of well. The The whole thing about uh, late war German tanks is, or at least in War Thunder, they want to stay back. Right? The mouse doesn't mind going forward. It's better if it stays back, but with proper flank support, it can go forward with the rest of them. So it'll be, in, it'll be an interesting dynamic for sure. Something else that I think is actually going to make a really big difference is binocular view. Uh, being able to look around your tank without moving the whole thing, right? The Yag Tiger doesn't have a turret, so you have to move the entire tank to use the scope to spot targets and uh, identify threats. Well, with binoculars, you just sort of pop your head out and look around. And it means that you can keep your tank facing where you're pretty sure the enemy are, but you can also scan for threats, you know, left, right, behind, uh, and all kinds of things like that. Now, I think using the gun sight will be better if the enemy are going to be in front of you, but at least this gives you the flexibility to look around. It's much like how a pilot uh, doesn't just look straight ahead, you know, doesn't use the sights of his gun to spot targets. No, he looks around. He keeps his plane flying in a direction, but looks around to identify targets. I mean, I guess you could use sights on your, or the sights of your gun if it's uh, some type of enhanced scope, but that's a little bit inefficient. And it's these two changes, I think, are going to be the biggest deal. Another change I thought that I noticed that I think might be an issue if it's taken too far is the ground resistance changes where your tanks can actually cut tracks into the ground. Uh, big heavy machines like the mouse and the Ag Tiger are going to leave big tracks. I feel like that might be an issue for tanks coming behind them. Especially smaller tanks. Like let's say Panther 2s. They do have they are a little bit more mobile so they can probably handle it but Regardless, it'll be an interesting dynamic. The All these sort of combined, all these changes, I think, are going to make... I don't know if rank 5 will be balanced, but it won't be a, like an 80, 20, 90, 10 split in favor of the Russians. 
I wouldn't be surprised if we pull it back to if it's pulled back to maybe 70 30 or so something like that and the reason I say that is because although the mouse is powerful although the Yag Tiger is powerful neither tanks fast the Germans need a late war tank or something that can just really burn and get places quick and get on flanks and has a really punchy gun I mean the Leopard 1 is the is the tank we're gonna get and I believe it will fill that role it does have very very little armor so it's kind of in the same boat as the Panther 2 which doesn't have a tremendous amount of armor and but the thing about the Panther is it has an 88 millimeter gun whereas the uh, Leopard would have a 105 millimeter gun which is you know it's gonna be way punchier which is something we can all be down for so I, I, I think once we get the Leopard and it's not like the Russian players are hurting either. And that was a big bomb. Just glad I got out of there. I mean, in 1.47, the Russians are getting the T-54 1949. Right? It's basically, the, it, from what I looked at, it basically looks the exact same as the 1951. You know, so you're basically adding another 8.0 Russian tank. Now, in theory, let's say in realistic battle you could have as many as three T-54s in your lineup. All of which are very strong. Uh, the 47 strong, the 51 strong, and I imagine the 49 strong as well, given that the other two are very strong. And then you have the IS-4 to sort of round out a four-tank 8.0 lineup, and that's, that's a pretty healthy lineup right there. You basically have... I know T-54s are sort of prototypical main battle tanks. I don't think they actually had that designation they are and the IS-4 is a heavy tank and oh dodged it <laughs> so you basically have four heavy tanks worth of armor from the front and that's a very strong lineup I think the German players are going to need something when the enemy is really good at one thing you need to be really good at the thing that beats that okay so what beats that well uh, in the with armor, it's range and penetration and accuracy of the gun. So having a gun that can penetrate an enemy tank at 2,000 meters is very, very good. Uh, the, the M103 kind of fits into that mold where it's, it's armor. I, I think it might have been fixed on the test server. I don't know. I didn't get to play it, but there were some shots that bounced off the M103 that I didn't think should have. But... I will look at that one more closely when I get a chance. I don't know when the next time the dev server will be up, but when it is, hopefully I'll be able to jump on. The M103 relies on, has these heat shells that have tremendous penetration at all ranges, so it doesn't need to get close. It can stay really far away, and the gun is fairly accurate. So, you kind of trade maybe some armor, maybe some speed to mount a big, powerful gun. Oh, and that bomb is definitely coming for me. Now, the, the next clip I have is a, uh, a arcade battle I flew with a buddy of mine, and so I hope you enjoy that. But, uh, yeah, the, basically what I say is I think late war Germany is getting better. But anyway, uh, let's move on to some flying, shall we? Uh, boom and zoomy, and then uh, Russians are way better just uh, as general fighters. But then the British obviously have an advantage. Oh, get wrecked. The British have the advantage of having really, really hard turners. Where, uh, you know, if you're British and you get on someone's tail, they're kind of done. Right? They only, just about the only thing they can hope to do oh, is... Oh, shit. What happened? Uh, you just got hit Some by a Some guy came out of nowhere and lit me up. Yeah. Spitfire. He might get me. Oh, he almost did. Yeah, Spitfire. I didn't oh, even get the bear shoot. Cat. The bear cat. Run away from the bear cat. <laughs> Not even get to shoot. Run away from Bearcat. Run away from Bearcat. Bear Kitty plus snow. I'm damaged. No, don't kill me. You're running into a bunch of people. I know, but I'm trying to avoid you being killed. That's all I can do. That's all I can do. Leo, remember me. Are you gonna die, Pete? Yes. 
I'm gonna take one with me though. Fuck you. Fuck you, bomber. You're fine, Pete. No, I'm not. My engine's dying. You're fine. I'm gonna save you. Kill the bear cat. I'm going for the bear cat. Kill him. I'm gonna try and take out this SM with my last couple shots. Peter, if you can stay alive for like two more seconds, I'm about to get there. Got him. Rip. My engine's dead. Here, just run. I'm gonna have to make a break for the airfield. Okay, it says my engine's dead, but I can still wet. There it goes. Make a break for the airfield, Pete. I'm taking him out. I'm going. Save me, Leo. I got him. He's off your tail. <laughs> Save me. Where's the damn airfield? I'll try. Fuck. I'm critically damaged. I'm in trouble. I got really badly hurt trying to save you. I'm <laughs> I died. Oh, the bear cat's dead though. Hooray! I got him. <laughs> oh no, I'm by. I thought this was the airfield. It's just an armored column. Hey, Peter, worse. well, I saved you, but I died when I saved you. That's all right. So. Thanks for the save, but I'm dead anyway. I didn't even save you. <laughs> no, I'm not close to the airfield. That's the issue. Oh shit! You're not Can make I be it a hero? Okay, I was not a hero. Still <laughs> the alive, guy, though. the guy flew in front of me, so I tried to uh, like pitch up really, really quickly and just shoot ahead him. But I, uh, suffice to say, I ran yeah. out of uh, what's it called? Uh, speed. Uh, I think we're gonna. There's win, a though. lot of people just in this area right now. I think we're gonna win though. Looking kind of, we're looking kind of good from the wind front. Well, that's where the most of their bombers were. So I kind of dove out of the clouds onto their bombers. Which was unfortunate, since I think I killed yeah, I ran three of them. Crap. Head first into a mountain. It's unfortunate. Hate to see it happen. But, if it's going to happen to anybody, the enemy is a good choice. No, I ran into a... Oh, you ran into the mountain. Uh, it, it was me. That? Why the hell did you do that? Because I... Did, I I was focused more on killing somebody than realizing I had to pull up when a mountain was there. Oh, when the mountain push a random a casually appeared? Yeah, I swear it wasn't there before. No, I didn't think it was. Okay, so I can't turn very well anymore. That's unfortunate. I'm taking lots of hits. This is I not get good this for yak. me. This is not good for me. The plane is severely shot up. Ability to turn, negligible. Control of plane, minimal. Um, I'm I'm a blaze. It's unfortunate. And I got shut down. It's okay. Oh, B24. I want to shoot it. I want to shoot it. Take this has been a so very very poor it. game for me. Yep. I I'm, I'm I'm trying to fly, but I'm I'm. Sp I'm uh, spinning because it's the easiest way for me to fly straight. Yeah. Because my my nose is pitching up because my uh, my ailerons have been shot up. So it's actually very awkward to fly. My engine's dying as well, which is unfortunate. But I am, however, closing in. Uh, I'm di I'm diving with a bomber. It's unfortunate. Come on, chase him, chase him, chase him. Oh shit! Can't catch him. Oh, we won, though. We... A very poor game for three years, truly. Not the best. Not the best. So I hope you enjoyed that little bit of flying around. It's uh, something I had on my hard drive and wanted to make use of. And, uh, yeah. So, thank you for watching. I've been Corny Swiss, and I'll see you next time.